All right, you're here to learn how to use D&D Beyond with Tailspire. Uh, what I use is Beyond the Spire, which is an extension for both Chrome and Firefox that you can use to send those roles on over. Uh, so I'll download it for Chrome for you to see here. You just hit the Chrome button and then hit Add to Chrome, uh, hit Add Extension, uh, and then it'll be up here in this little puzzle box menu. Uh, so you can go to Manage Extension. If you have any other kind of uh, d and Beyond uh, extensions, you'll want to turn them off while you're using Beyond the Spire. Uh, so stuff like Beyond 20 can kind of get in the way of it. Uh, but once you're done installing the extension, you're going to want to go over to your d and Beyond sheet, uh, hit refresh on that so that it takes out any other kind of extensions and puts in uh, Beyond the Spire. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to your portrait and then character settings and make sure uh, dice rolling is turned off. So that's going to disable the built-in Dean Beyond dice rolls uh, that are kind of normally in there uh, and then just allow uh, Beyond the Spire. So now we have just Beyond the Spire rolling. We don't have anything else rolling. Um, and Beyond the Spire is going to add these blue boxes to everything. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on one of those blue boxes to do a roll. Um, so if you want to do an attack roll, it's going to be over here. A skill check is going to be in the center of your sheet right here. Uh, and then saving throws are going to be on the top left. Uh, your spells are all on your spell sheet. Uh, and you'll also want to keep an eye on your spell save DC if your DM needs it. Uh, so let's do an example here. Let's say I want to roll a charisma saving throw. I'll click on that. It'll bring right on over to Tailspire this little box here. So we're going to want to uh, left click and drag. Uh, this little box right here and it'll grab a dice and roll that for you. Um, it'll do all the math together. Uh, so that's a 25 on the charisma saving throw. And then you can hit alt tab and bring yourself right back over to your Dean Beyond sheet. Um, you can also do, you know, attack rolls and stuff like that. Say I want to attack with my Warhammer. I can roll that. 26 is probably going to hit. So then I'll do damage. Uh, I have a shield right now, so that's just going to be a D8 of damage. Uh, add four, and that's going to be seven total. Uh, it works with spells and all kinds of other stuff as well. The only thing it doesn't work with is your hit points. So you're going to want to track your hit points uh, by yourself. Make sure your DM knows your AC and stuff like that. Um, for spells, uh, just click the stuff that's kind of highlighted and then tell your DM about any strength saving throws or anything like that. Uh, so for, for a spiritual weapon, I could cast that on D&D &D Beyond and then roll that, uh, roll to hit there and then roll the damage right here as well. Uh, so yeah, that's how you use D&D &D Beyond with Tailspire using the Beyond the Spire extension. Make sure you're on Chrome or Firefox and make sure, uh, any other extensions are closed, and then make sure the Dean to Beyond rolling is off as well. That should be everything you need. Good luck.